Hey guys, Rennie here with Off Grid Trek. Uh, I just took the opportunity to come out here, have a bit of a ride, do a test with our one of our solar blankets. I'll do another test tomorrow, weather permitting, um, and then just video it just to give you guys examples of how quickly we can charge. Today is going to be with our 220 watt solar blanket and the Jenison solar charge controller. The two batteries, which total 35 amp hour, so 20 amp hour and 15 amp hour, and both are 52 volts. So how quickly we can charge in one hour from the sun, laying our solar blanket flat on the ground. So what I'm going to do, make sure this is turned on. I'll bring the camera over, show you the battery percentage. It is 62%. Just so you can see, see if we can see that in the sun. There you go, 62% battery. I'm gonna turn it off now. You cannot leave the display on when you're actually charging the battery. And then let me just put the camera back here and then I will show you everything that I'm using in this kit, just so you're, you're aware. And everything was carried out brought out with but with the uh with the e-bike so everything was in these two bags so first and foremost with this kit is going to be our 220 watt solar blanket which is this guy here less than 10 pounds we just redesigned it folds up to the size of a laptop um, another important factor about this just to mention real quick let's say you brought some other devices out you wanted to come out for the day or even longer than a day um, we have a quick charge on the back so you can charge usb usb type c and dc 5521 devices so what that translates to is uh handheld two-way ham radios uh any of the newer laptops or macbooks that charge from usb type c uh phones gps's drones you name it you can charge all of that from here so let me lay this out and then i'll bring all of the other items out just to show you And because of the fact that we use SunPower thin film uh, Maxian cells, you don't even have to point this directly at the sun because of the true efficiency rating with it. I'm just putting that there just to kind of clean it up. So first and foremost, we're going to have an extension cable. This is it. Uh, we redesigned this for the e-bikes. It's going to be the same gauge, but we have an Anderson SB end, and then we have an Anderson power pole end as well. And it is five meters, which is overkill for today, or just uh, approximately 16 and a half feet for simple math. But let me just connect this. That's it. And we use these specific connectors because there's no way to reverse polarity on it. Uh, you can get water in them, mud in them, dirt in them, snow, you name it. They're still going to work. Now I'll bring over the other three devices. So this is the Jenison solar charge controller that's been programmed to work specifically with 52 volt battery. So that's a good note uh, to let you guys know. This, is spe this will be specific to 52 volt batteries. Now I do have the charging cable that's specific to this bike. And then I did bring this little voltage amperage wattage meter. Just so, be, being this doesn't have a display, I'll, I'll take some still photos. I'm not able to video because of the refresh rate, but I'll do some still photos just to kind of show you where we're at for volts, watts, and amps. And then the rule of thumb is with e-bike batteries, you connect the solar blanket first or solar panel. For us, it'll be solar blanket. Then you charge, then you connect the battery. So let's do that. This guy's pretty simple how it's labeled. It's the, uh, the cable with the yellow. So we connect that. Then we connect our little reader because we want to see what's going on. And then we'll connect this. And the neat thing about e-cells, this specific um, manufacturer of these bikes, they're the only ones that have so not a huge amount going in just because uh, we do have a little bit of haze, but it's not bad. We've got just under 150 watts going in, uh, 2.73 amps, 53.7 volts. So works out to 146, 147 watts. But I'll take a photo of that here in a little bit. Um, but I was saying, the reason I really like these e-cell uh, e-bikes is a lot of reasons, but they actually, they have a dual battery system on this specific bike. Um, they have a, a patented uh, charging port, so you only need one cable. They do provide a Y cable, but it gives you the option of charging your battery 
um, just directly from from that one uh, that one charging port, which is quite nice. Uh, the other thing, just to mention real quick, guys, about this bike, and, and oh, and David, uh, the owner of the company, he was nice enough to give us a discount code that gives you a hundred dollars off. So I will have that in the description below. Feel free to use that because a hundred dollars is a hundred dollars if you think this bike would suit what you're looking for. But the reason I went with it, dual motors, 750 watts each, so it's true all-wheel drive. Dual battery systems. So on that note, a lot of end users that are using these bikes or this specific model are saying they're getting 140 miles plus with pedal assist. So at the end of this, when we see how much battery percentage we've gone up, we'll be able to easily calculate approximately how many more miles as a rough estimate that we'd be able to, uh, to go based on one hour of charging because you stop somewhere to fish for a bit or to eat your lunch, which I'm going to do while waiting for this, this to, uh, waiting for the hour to expire while we're doing this. But yeah, um, other than that, um, back to E-Cells, they do have the full components on it. I, I do love the suspension because they use true rock shocks, um, not a generic brand name. Everything attention to detail, everything to the brake system. You have 203 uh, millimeters for diameter as opposed to 160 millimeters. Um, or 180 like a lot of them will use and just attention to detail on all of it. It's just it's it's a beautiful beautiful bike uh, I would use this for You know just getting out on a day like today or to be blunt If the grid goes down and we have to um, rely on something like this because we can't get fuel It's a nice handy option and then the bonus is you can charge from solar anywhere. That's the other thing Okay, guys, um, I'll be back in an hour. We'll see where we're at. Remember we were at 62% and yeah this is it let me just do a quick that is it guys and i've got the genus in here i don't think it'll work with refresh rate oh maybe okay so there we go we can see it good so that's what we have going in 134 watts uh 2.46 amps just over approximately 54 volts Okay, good. We can see it. I don't have to take a photo, but we'll see where it's at uh, in about an hour here because the sun is just starting to come around and it's just so you guys know, we're at 51 degrees north latitude. We're in Canada. So it's at this time in May, it's, it's not like we're in Vegas or Arizona where the sun's directly above you. So for us to get readings like this at this time of day is actually quite good. Okay. I will be back in a little bit and enjoy this view while I'm at it. Okay guys, it has been an hour and I'm going to put everything away, but let me just show you where we're at. Um, we were at 62%. And I just turned, unplugged everything. And so we went up 14%. Actually, when I turned it on, it was 70, 77%. Either way, we'll call it 14% is what we went up. I don't know if you can see that all right because it went from 62 to 76%. So that's actually really good. But here, I'm just going to put everything away. And you guys can see how very little space this takes up. There you go. So basically our kit, what it includes, pretty simple. I'll just unplug a couple things, bring them over. We don't have all of these in stock yet, but we're going to have them shortly. Um, we're going to have four different variations of the plugs that connect to your um, e-bike batteries, because there's four main ones that people use. This is one of them that's specific to the e-cells brand here. And then with this specific kit, you're going to have your Jenison waterproof controller that's pre-programmed for 52 volt batteries. We will offer one, another one for 52 volt batteries with our 300 watt solar blanket, as well as one with 48 volt batteries with our 220 watt solar blanket. So I'll just put these in the bag. Oh, and the one I'm going to compare, I'm just going to wait for another, I think we've rained tomorrow, but when we, I'll come out at the exact same time and I'll compare it with the Ella Joy one. This one we're offering on the market as well, too. It's well known in the e-bike world. It is programmable, so you can actually, and it does have digital displays, which is quite nice. Um, you can actually program this manually and do 52, 60, and 72 volt batteries with it. Um, the other thing I was going to mention, and I'll have all the specs when I do the comparison, 95% versus 99 with the Jenison. So the Jenison theoretically is going to work better, but we're going to, we're going to compare here. 
And other than that, we just have our five meter cable here, which is like I mentioned, this is Anderson SB. This is what's on the back of all of our solar blankets to Anderson power pole. And that's what we're doing all our connectors with just to make it easy. And then here's our 220 watt solar blanket. I'll just fold this up, put it away. And by the way, when you un when you fold these up, guys, it's like an accordion. Just how you un how you fold it, unfold it. Uh, it's the exact opposite for folding it back up. It's actually quite simple. Just put the waterproof cover back on. But that's it. That's our 220 watt solar blanket right there. As you can see, very lightweight. Takes up very little space. And the good thing is, even if you just have a couple bags like this, um, the amount of room, like I've got a jacket in there, I've got a water bottle, I've got extra cables, extra solar charge controllers. I still have room for fishing gear. I still have room for, if I was hunting, some hunting gear. I could tow, tow a trailer if I chose to. Uh, there's room for my lunch, you name it, a number of devices. If I wanted to bring out a quadcopter with me, I could bring that. I could charge it as well from the solar blanket. But what I will do is I will have links below uh, not only for the e-bike, so if you're looking for the e-cells brand, you can use the $100 discount code for that. That'll be in the link below. Um, other than that, I will have links for our solar blanket packages for charging specifically e-bike batteries. Keep in mind, you can also use our solar blankets as bug out kits for charging your vehicle or trailer battery, uh, for charging portable power stations. And we work with pretty much all of the major brands on the market right now, and we have all the cables to connect all of that as well, too. Um, any questions? My name is Rennie. I'm the owner of the company. Uh, to be blunt, I don't read from a script. I just say it how it is and give you the meat and the potatoes, the information that I believe based on conversations with customers and potential customers that I think you'll find the most value with without any of that fluff or music or whatever in the background. I just want to give you information. Uh, any questions, let me know. I'd be happy to customize a package for you. Um, and if you're unsure, because I know for a lot of people, solar is daunting. So other than that, have a great rest of your gate, uh, day, guys. I'm going to go enjoy this. We've got a little bit of haze in the air, but uh, it's not bad. But yeah, in one hour, we went up 14%. So I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Bye then.